Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to the mini channel and this is an interesting video. I don't really like to do this kind of videos. I actually already recorded this like three or four times because I don't know how to approach it in a certain way or anything like that. Um, but yeah, somebody of you requested this particular video so I figured I'll talk about it and give you my thoughts on it. But again, uh, going to this video, uh, this is more on political side. I don't really like to discuss politics on my video. I, I When I make this video, I made my promise not to discuss political stuff on it. I mostly uh stick stay away from kind of stuff i like to talk about games i love games let's talk about games you know that's what i like to talk about uh but i figure you guys requested this video so i'll talk about it uh but on a political side more even a fan side non-political affiliated let's say that like that uh so what are we talking about today we're talking about um the fact that atlas western uh, has uh decided to change a couple scenes in persona fire rojo uh, pertaining to particular scenes uh, involving homophobia or homosexuality and that kind of stuff and just painting in a certain line that is a little bit different now um in two sides of the coins really uh this is a change to a game you know, and if to some people, changing things in the game makes it feel like it's a censorship because it's it blurs out or it changes the original intended purpose of a specific type. And I totally see where that's coming from. And I I I, I agree with that. You know, I not in the sense of what a political agent is trying to say, but more in the sense of uh, I like to play games uh, on the original um, aspect of it. You know, like a translator job is not to change something your translator job is to make sure that the game is translated you know that's that's entirely what a localization is it's just that much but you know whatever your political affiliation is i think that anybody can agree like i want to watch the intern the original intended purpose of the game you know um that being said i can see the other side of the coin as well when it comes to homophobia and the jokes that they make and uh, Atlas and Persona has come under fire for this kind of stuff before. They have had a lot of different ways that they have treated uh, homophobic jokes and that kind of stuff. You know, some land, some don't land, and I, I get it, you know. Uh, Persona has had a lot of different, you know, aspects on it and everything. That being said, at the same time, I feel like um, you can't please everybody. You can't please, you know, it's a tough crowd out there. Uh, myself, I don't think that this game should have been censored or changed or anything like that. Again, I think that it's not up to the, the translator to censor things. It's more kind of like the original intention from the author and everything. Now, this is the whole thing about uh, political affiliations and that kind of stuff. And I'm not going to get into that kind of stuff or anything. You're free to believe whatever you want to do. Uh, this channel is not for that. This channel is full of video games. I talk about video games. That's what I care about. And the other aspect of it is... Um, Mainly the biggest aspect is, um, it's, it, it, I don't really think that it really changes anything in the game. Like it's, it's two scenes that are not relevant to the story, they're not relevant to the characters. It doesn't add or subtract anything to the experience of the game. So I don't think that a, um, what they call a boycott is needed in this case. I don't think it's necessary. Um, because I see people boycotting and say, yeah, we're going to boycott this game. Is, is it really necessary? I don't think so. Uh, sure, you can say some people are giving in into a political affiliation or that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, does it really make a change in the experience of the game? I don't think so. But anyway, that is pretty much my thoughts on that. I went back and forth between the two different ideologies. And can I just give you a point? I like to be pretty... Um, uh, in the point in the middle of the ground and just kind of tell you my thoughts about it and everything again this is a discussion slight like news reporting here so I'm not trying to sell you any kind of political affiliation it's gonna give you you uh, my opinion on this anyway let me know in the comments below what you think about all this and if you need please consider like and subscribing and what you think about all this do you agree disagree or anything like that anyway if you need please consider liking and subscribing again and I'll see you guys next time